Legend. Plus. Plus. Who? No. Extra. Extra. Not plus. Uh, <coughs> hey, talk. That was powerful. Yo. Young as would in mind. But anyway, uh, thanks for the opportunity and good morning uh, to the members of the media, distinguished guests, program director. Um, <coughs> I know probably some of the media guys, they think I just want to be like Samuel Etu, but that's not the case. Um, I'm standing before you guys as an individual that has a concern about our game, how things have been supposed to be unfolding in football. I've served this game for years as an individual that comes from the streets of Soweto. And I've been through informal and formal coaching, not knowing that uh, <clears throat> one day Prashid Mashaba will invite me to be part of the NSL 11. As you all know, that I was not part of the first national team that was selected by the late May Soul, rest in peace, Jeff Butler. But I am proud to say, Prashik, thanks very much for giving me the opportunity, you and Terry Payne, because I don't think the late understood what I was made for of. And uh, for that, I was given an opportunity by being selected by <coughs> Stanley Skrima Shavalala to represent South Africa in 1992, which is 30 years ago. And I did what I was good at. Bebal Saba, I took it. Because I'm coming from a varsity that taught me to be brave, a varsity that gave me an opportunity leadership that gave me an opportunity and showed me respect and how to respect. But all that is going into vain. There are politicians that spoke, but I'm talking about football. Are we doing justice to the young generation out there? No. <clears throat> I'm coming from the trust streets. It's from the Dusty Street's efforts because leadership was key. They gave us an opportunity to represent a so-called South Africa that was deprived an opportunity to test the strength against international teams or countries. But in 92, we showed them what we made of. And that's called that goal against Cameroon, and I'm proud. Yeah. <clears throat> what I want to see happening is change, whether it's the current structure or the future structure. Whether President Daney keeps his job, I mean his position, it's fine. But until when? <laughs> yeah? Three times in Zin. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we managed through the Safa leadership, through legends, corporate, media, and lastly, South Africans. We embraced the flag. In South Africa. We knew what does that mean to us. Ninety two we won against Cameroon. Four years later we were crowned champions. And let me make it clear. <clears throat> Some of the legends today in Africa, whenever I talk to JJ Okocha or Daniel Amukaji, they'll be like, You guys were crowned because you were host. So we cannot qualify ourselves, but we probably qualify because we're hosting. But in 96, we qualified for the 96 Africa Cup of Nations because we were only told after we've beaten 
Madagascar, in Madagascar. And through the media guys, they came to the camp. Because there's division. Today, media is isolated. But then, Thomas Quenaita came to Clive Parker and told him, you don't have to play talk in the middle. They've planned against him. So I went white. We changed the, the strategy because our media personnel helped us. But today, the media is nowhere. Leadership, you're Tsotsi, you're clever, it's key in South Africa. This country, this country is blessed with talent. We are only envying positions, but not delivery. We rather kill, disrespect, suppress because of a position. And why can't we get people with ethic in terms of delivery? President Abafazi, they can show you the way. And don't get me wrong, I'll still maintain, whether it's a current structure or the new structure, we'll only support people that will bring change in our game. Yeah. Change where regions are being supported, not suppressed. Development, grassroots, supported, not suppressed. Education in terms of coaches, giving proper structures, facilities, because what is happening in the township, if you have a Maserati, you can coach a team. But we expect Bafana Bafana to be in Qatar. How, how possible is that? We have, for those who don't understand, in South Africa, all our accolades, whatever we have achieved, is because of our own coaches. Rashid, remember the first coach to qualify the under 23s for Olympics? Yeah. Clive Parker, yeah. 1996, and he took us away to the World Cup. Jomo Sono, 20, I mean 2002. Trot Mulotto, and what did we do? We only suppressed Pizzo because we thought he was a failure. But it took Senegal eight years to believe in Sisse, and today he's the champion. Yeah. Why can't we, <clears throat> why can't we believe in our own? Is it because of poor leadership? Then there should be a change. Then there should be a change. <laughs> but be believe it or not, this country, <laughs> it's a country of champions. We cannot afford to be saying, Fish, Lucas, Doctor, wow, 96. It's 26 years ago. Nothing has happened. We only strive not to win, now to qualify. This is our goal as a country. He used to say to us, they might be playing in uh, bigger leagues. They might be earning a lot of money. <clears throat> the world knows them. But what I saw when we played France was embarrassing because we played against England. We played against France, we played against Germany, but through leadership, there's only one thing that we were told in the dressing room. The difference is the national anthem, but they are like you guys. And we went out, we dig deep, because he said, you're not representing your friends or yourselves, but the nation. So if the nation is in crisis, what is, what's supposed to be done? <clears throat> Change is needed. Yes. Change is needed. 
because he said it. May his soul rest in peace. So, if it happens that they should be changed and the new structure takes over, please do not disrespect or disregard the efforts of the custodian of football in this country. Why can't we use our own, the likes of Prashiks, Sukrima Shavalala, Clive Barker, Jomo Sono, and the list is endless, to stay self in this committee for you to guide anybody that comes in. We have a current coach now that I respect. Why is it that he can't meet his colleagues in the PSL? Because there's no leadership. There's no cohesion. Why Clough managed to talk to all the coaches? Why did Prashik manage to talk to all the coaches when he was a coach? Our own national team coach, there are certain things he can't do. He comes into the country. You can't take away or shy away about what Sundance is doing. The best team ever. They've got the best players ever. How do you go and play a serious match and sacrifice South Africans, not the national team? And you leave out players that I strongly believe would have made a difference. Because there is no way Ethan Brook could play away against Ghana and give us results. Whereas Andy Lechard is out there, experienced player. But with the help of legends, masters, it would have been a difference. It would have made a difference. But I had an interview that happened last week. And legends were lambasted. Just because Lucas said he wants to serve, is there anything wrong with it? Should he go to the structures down there to date his hands? But do you guys know that when we played in DRC, we had to live five days with coke and bread only because we couldn't eat their food? Is that not sacrifice? So why can't we be part of the structure? Why can't the Evopera Sheikhs can't be that part of the structure? How do you expect football to be better in South Africa if the people who walk the path are not part of it? How? How are you in your right frame of mind, Nambast, a legend that has been respected in England? He's, he's been honored because we don't do that in South Africa. But what we do, we chop and criticize them because they know. They know how to do it and when to do it and why to do it. The how part of it maybe later. <laughs> so I'm saying with the change, let's consider our ancestors that made this game to be what it is today. There's so much bloodshed in this country that we cannot afford to go another three years without change. But I can go on and on and on and on. Does she deserve it? Yes. Yes, definitely. Can I steal your water? <laughs> so it's usually second half, ne? We they have to hard to eat. So it's half time. Half time, yes. And you've got literally thirty seconds. It doesn't matter. Score a goal. In football, there's what we call reveries optional time. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if there's any change that needs to happen, if Mamria will be the person to make change, I personally will support that. But only if all the coaches that I've mentioned, they are in the structure. It's time we need to have our own people that 
they were put in the structures in South Africa. If Brad Stan will be sitting at Benjin and saying to me, Doggy, I'm going to go, boy. It's the language I understand. I don't have an interpreter with us. Uh, in, in. No, 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 no. So when you come today, hey, Evan Brook, now we have changed the formation. Now we're playing from transition. <laughs> it's true because one of the players from one of the big teams didn't understand what is transition. So it's very key to remain and understand the culture. What is South Africa made of? So South Africa is made of people who were bleeding, a sweater, and fought and made it right. So my pugile, as you know, said. And I would like to say again, Safa, do not distance yourself from the media. Because personally, I've experienced in terms of how they will help. Because we need them. And thank you guys for attending. Nengang Miss Koti, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, EJ, for the sake, not of the game only, but the custodian of football, we need change. Thank you.